All right, secrets out. I did my hair and I'm excited. Um, just wanted to share some things with you guys and just kind of have a heart to heart um, for today's vlog. But I'm posting this a week or so later because my family hasn't seen it and I wanted to surprise them. Um, but I just wanted to get this out while it was still on my mind and still you know, fresh on the brain. The entire day, I was so nervous because I knew, I was like, oh man, I'm getting my hair done. It's going to be so drastic because I'm bleach blonde and I'm going brown. And it looks kind of black in this lighting, but it's definitely brown. After I got it done, I was like, oh my gosh, because of course it's like polar opposite. I mean, it's not black, but it's pretty, pretty close. <laughs> um, so anyways, we, after I got home and I after I showed Matt and he was like, whoa, that's crazy, I like it, or whatever. And I got back home and I was just like, I was so nervous. I was scared of what people would say and I'm the type of person where I don't like bringing attention to myself, um, which is funny because I'm making a YouTube channel, but that's not the point of the channel. The point of the channel is to glorify the Lord. I was telling Matt and I was crying because I was like, I feel like I was frustrated because my hair is really dark and I wanted to be more natural and if you haven't seen what my hair looks like naturally, it's a lot it's darker than I was expecting and I'm growing more accustomed to it now. I don't want people to like think that I'm trying to get attention or trying to be drastic or crazy because I feel like when I dyed my hair blonde that's what it was. It was just interesting because I finally felt like I was ripping the band-aid off of a situation that I hadn't grown out of yet and I thought I did and I still hadn't but um, growing up and going through high school I had a lot of insecurities um, in physical appearance and hair and makeup and everything and I didn't go that drastic until last year when I bleached my hair um, and looking back like I knew what my motivation was behind doing it um, but I still try to convince myself that oh I'm just trying to be adventurous like I'm too scared to get a tattoo nothing against tattoos I just don't like needles <laughs> so what else can I get that's kind of permanent but still kind of temporary that's gonna grow out and I'm like oh duh my hair I saw I'm not gonna name any names but I saw a specific youtuber and I saw how successful she was and I was like man like I looked up to her because she was successful and I was like, man, YouTube, I've always wanted to do YouTube ever since I was like 12. Um, and I just really looked up to her because she's young, she's married, she, you know, has this successful life, she's traveling the world and um, I mean, obviously my, my motivations have definitely changed within the past year and that's one reason why I wanted to dye my hair, which it sounds so silly, but to me it's like a mental shift. Um, from trying to be somebody else and just being myself and pursuing this channel the way I want to pursue it and the way I want to go about doing it. So anyways, just to share with you guys, God is doing a lot of things in my heart and just reminding me that I'm loved and that I'm cherished and I'm here to encourage you that you are loved and you may be looking up to other people here on YouTube and um, saying like, whoa, like they're they're really pretty or they're so successful or they have 5 million subscribers or their video just got 2 million views in 3 days like all of that is gonna fade away and I honestly don't care if I get 5 subscribers or 5 million as long as I'm doing what God has called me to do which I strongly believe that I am then I know that he's gonna provide and he's gonna speak through me to encourage you and so I just wanted to say that if you're looking up to somebody it doesn't matter <laughs> it's temporary just be yourself God loves you the way you are he created you to be uniquely you and that's my AC don't mind that um, but he created you to be you and it doesn't matter what society is trying to tell you to be it doesn't matter how they're trying to tell you to dress be confident be confident in who you are, who God's made you to be, and you're beautiful, and if for all the gentlemen out there, you're handsome, you are a man of God, you are a woman of God, and He has called you righteous, and um, yeah, so 
I hope this video was encouraging and if you like these type of videos where I'm just sitting and chatting and unloading my thoughts to you, um, then definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you have not done so already so you can be notified of when I post new videos. Or if you want to follow me on social media, you can do so at uh, lovely underscore musician for both Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you guys next video.